Poverty is a huge problem in our community. And at the very base of it, poverty exists because people don't have enough money. And we need to focus on jobs. But we don't have enough jobs. People have a real hard time getting to jobs, and they don't pay enough. And so we need to focus on attracting living wage jobs here and um, that pay people enough to live. And one of the ways that we can do that is aggressively attracting the renewable energy manufacturing jobs here. We have an incredible opportunity with RIT being the leader of a clean manufacturing consortium. We have the infrastructure to support this. And with photonics, which is a key component of solar panels coming here, we really have an opportunity to do this. And not with grant programs, but with low interest loans. And these jobs just aren't at the high tech level. They create jobs in all areas um, that our community can take a part in. We also have to improve transportation so people can get to the jobs and give incentives for jobs to locate where people live. We can uh, support and increase programs for black owned businesses. Um, but small businesses keep money in the communities that they're located. They, there are jobs where people live and they're a vehicle for economic freedom for the community. Uh, the last thing I'll say is about um, focusing on people who are coming out of prison with uh, an alarming rate of our black and brown brothers and sisters being incarcerated for nonviolent crimes. When they come out, there's nothing waiting for them. And if we really want them to become um, functioning members of our society, we need to give them some hope of opportunity to support themselves so that they don't go back to a life of crime. So we need programs that offer support for people, that partner with um, jobs that are willing to hire people who are coming out of prison, and jobs that are going to pay them enough to live. I'm also advocating for racial, mandatory racial bias training for all city employees, including teachers and police officers. We all have it, and there's a resistance to looking on the inside and seeing anything ugly, but we need to do this. It's actually absolutely imperative for us to understand our own racial bias and aggressively work to, to rectify it. Um, I'm also advocating for culturally relevant uh, instruction and curriculum.